Hi, I'm here today with Piyush Malik, who is the lead of the Center of Excellence uh, for Big Data and Analytics with IBM. Welcome, Piyush. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. Piyush, uh, you're, you said that we're entering a new era of uh, computation, which is the cognitive computing era. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, extent to which that is discontinuous with previous eras around computing? Sure, so if you look at the history of computing right from the 1900s on where we had the earlier first era of tabulating machines where those machines, mechanical devices were made for uh, counting. So those were the counting machines used for first census in the US, right? So from that era to 1950s where uh, von Neumann architecture machines were created which would be programmed, which would be um, using ones and zeros, the binary uh, digits, and they would be programs written to tell them what to do. Now, fast forward to uh, 2011 when uh, now we are talking about cognitive era, and from 2011 to 2015 today, we have come a long way. And why I use the term cognitive computing is where machines are not to be told but they learn by themselves. They are self-learning, self-aware, contextual, and they usher in an era which is making us smarter because these machines themselves, just by learning and by way that they are, uh, they, they are they're, uh, manufactured, they are really making our lives easier. One example of that is Watson. And, uh, IBM Watson was uh, the machine after five, six years of uh, in-research work, it was unveiled to the world during a Jebli Championship in 2011, and that's why I said 2011 was a time when we unleashed the cognitive era, and since then uh, we've wor been working on uh, commercializing that technology. We've been working with hundreds of clients in different industries, around the world to make that technology available for um, making um, lives of common citizens better, for making better business decisions, and really it is a very exciting time to be in this field. So although we're in the era of machine learning, it's not really the machines that themselves uh, create the differentiation for a company like IBM. I mean, IBM has its origins and its history in the manufacture and sale of, of machines. Um, but over the years, they've moved uh, from machines to, to software, and now uh, they're, I guess, in the business of, of solutions, or, solutions or consulting. So um, if, if you follow that progression, um, how is it that, that IBM has managed to stay uh, ahead or at least on top of these uh, transformations? For a 103-year-old company, IBM is definitely an innovator. In my own lifetime, I've seen a number of times signs out there that, hey, mainframe is dead, IBM is dead, and uh, it could be far away from truth because uh, today what we are doing at IBM is not what we were doing uh, maybe five years back or 10 years back. IBM has had a history of transforming itself. As I mentioned, it led through the era of the computational machines, the tabulating machines, and there was before that there was an era when IBM started its business we were making meat slicers. If IBM hadn't transformed itself, we would still be doing that, do you think? No, we would be out of business. So we have been transforming ourselves and transitioning. So uh, in the 1980s onwards, we've been focused heavily onto software. Our software revenues has been rising, and very uh, after that, uh, basically what has happened is we have really embraced the latest uh, in the market in fact, uh, cloud, mobile, social, these are some of the terms we hear about, but in IBM we embrace it. And we are using it not only for internal, uh, our own self, but for our clients. And that's where our biggest strength is. Our strength is in solutions that we create for our clients, which are replicated around the world, and uh, of course they end up in uh, generating revenue for us as well. But there, there are a lot of providers of solutions or companies that offer uh, consulting or solution services. Um, what differentiates IBM? Because if IBM has uh, software and hardware on top of the solutions, um, how does that give them an advantage over a company 
um, when clients may want to cherry pick or select the, the best in breed of the software, the hardware, the consulting? So one of the biggest thing that my division uh, represents is the agnostic behavior. We're totally client centric. We look at the client business problem and how best to solve it, whether it is to be solved with IBM technology or a combination of uh, independent software vendor technologies or something that hasn't even been invented, those technologies. We work with the client to uh, enable them to get the outcomes that they desire. Example of that is uh, our working with uh, certain uh, IBM research uh, technologies which are not yet public and being able to create solutions, leveraging those patents. I mentioned patents because IBM, as you know, has been the company which has been leading in terms of uh, uh, highest number of patents for 22 years in a running. It's by no uh, accident. It's by uh, a sheer focus on innovation by every member of our team on focused on the real issues that our clients are facing and trying to come up with innovative ideas how we can solve them. So that distinguishes us from any other service provider who is looking at maybe providing a point in time solution. We look at innovative business models to go with the clients. We look at, uh, uh, for example, outcomes based uh, pricing for our solutions. We look at uh, leveraging our innovative partnerships with um, be it Apple IBM partnership or Twitter IBM partnership or uh, the latest announced uh, weather channel partnership in the all in the sphere of data and analytics to give a better value solution to our clients. So uh, I would say uh, this is the most exciting time to be in the solution space and as we are moving from the traditional era of hardware and software into the cloud, uh, we are very well positioned to uh, help our clients. Thanks, Piyush. Thank you. Thanks for having me here.